good morning from a very, very, very cold Manchester. We're just at near the Beetham Tower and we're gonna go, well, we are gonna go on a gravel ride. I've just got a flat, but oh my God, it is so cold. I brought an extra jacket and I've already got that on. I've had to borrow an extra pair of gloves because my hands are freezing. They're DHB gloves actually, and they are really, I'm very impressed, I'm gonna buy myself a pair. Uh, if you've got any recommendations for decent winter gloves, let me know. Joey, you just like questioning, like, why am I even out? Because it's just so cold. I could be inside and be warm. So I think we just want to give it an hour, see how we feel. And if it is rubbish, we'll just go back because it's just freezing. I sound like a right moaner, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you bugger this one? I'm just a Mardi bum when it's cold. That's why I need to get away in winter. Where's the end of it? Oh, You put it on that side first. Start on the opposite side. And then clip. I wish we'd just gone on Zwift today, <laughs> to be honest. Good morning. So yesterday was a bit of a fail. We ended up doing, I don't know, 14K or whatever it was because we just got so cold. So when you saw us under that bridge, we must have been there for like, God, an hour. Basically, Richard got a flat and he, we couldn't get the tube, uh, sorry, the, the tyre to fit back onto the wheel. It wouldn't seat properly. So then we were just sort of faffing around trying to fix that. And then we went to Evans, try and sort it there. We eventually got it sorted, but we'd just been stood outside for God, an hour and a half at this point, And it was just so cold. And when we set off, it was just icy. The wind was so icy and I was like, nah, I'm bailing. And so, yeah, yesterday's ride, was meant to be 60k gravel and it was 14k on the road so that was that that's why it's kind of been lumped into this video because it wasn't really much of a video yesterday and as part of this year's festive 500 i wanted to make it as varied as possible so i wanted to do road turbo gravel and mountain bike but it's not gonna happen is it however i am on the mountain bike today meeting my friend phil i'm gonna do i don't know just a couple of hours on the mountain bike um, and so I thought I would bring you along to share to share it because that's the thing sometimes plans change and also the other thing is I think it's so it's not important but like beneficial to change the styles of riding that you do and I've only really learned this this this, this year because I was always so focused on road riding and I didn't realize how good it is to do gravel and mountain bike, mountain bike specifically, because I feel like that has given me the most like confidence riding off road, just learning it. So I would recommend to you trying something different, change up your riding if you can. Cause I know a lot of bike shops can offer, like you can rent mountain bikes, you don't need necessarily need to buy one. So I would recommend that. So yeah, I'm gonna go now cause it's getting chilly. I need to get moving. So I will see you off road. So I'm just waiting for Phil now. Oh God, I didn't want to take that big jacket off. So I've literally got balaclava, I've got jacket, like long sleeve, base layer, another base layer. Either I'm a wasp or it's very cold. Today I do a bit of a loop. It's gonna go away from Phillips Park over to Moses Gate, Clifton Park. So it's a big loop that comes around. It's low altitude, so it's away from the weather. So you're That's not gonna good. get battered by the wind or anything. It's a bit muddy, but Rocky. it's winter. Nice, it's a nice loop, and then when we come back we can do a bit of playing around. I've just okay. scoped some of the off-piece stuff and nearly killed myself, so that's off the cards for today. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Alright then. Look, oh my god, who would do that? 
That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. There's a little window. You didn't try and throw me down. I've just slipped straight in the mud. Is it bad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Nice. I felt like I was particularly. Uh, no, you know they, they do like... alternate beauty treatments. <laughs> well, that's why I was like, oh, I'll just sit on here. It's okay. really not. Yeah. <sighs> All that riding. You've been in oh, there. I know. And then this is where I stack it. Oh. End of the ride. Honestly, this is probably one of my favourite rides in a long time. I don't know. When you're off road, you just don't feel as cold and definitely nice change in the road definitely and i'm getting a little bit more confident each time i'm coming out a little bit but it's having people like phil that knows where to go that is i just really appreciate so yeah that's good what so what are you peeking at <laughs> it's just that his car's like do you want to be in the video he's like no you're gonna slate me so um yeah that is it so i think distance wise probably done phil how far have we done 15.2 miles. 15 miles. What's that in K? 20K? 50. <laughs> it's not 50. <laughs> it's enough. It's enough. So, it was so... But I mean, look at this. That This is like... It's been like this pretty much the whole way. Look at it. Look at the state of that. Yeah. I am. I've ripped my jacket and all. Getting over a fence. <laughs> I've done this before. I've slipped over with the cameraman. The camera never goes down. I'm like, keep it up. It's like if people want when they're having a drink and they fall and the drink's in the air. I'm like, keep the camera up. Oh, thank you so much for helping. No You're a good in. Been a pleasure as always. So I'm back from the ride, obviously, cleaned up a little bit. And now is the part where I read one of your emails about your cycling story. So I'm just going to get straight into it because this one is just so beautiful. I love it. And it's talking about change. So. So this email is from a woman called Ali Parr and this is what she said. Hi Katie, my name is Ali Parr, I'm 39 and I live in Leicestershire. I have two children, a daughter who is 15 and a 12 year old son. My life has changed drastically in the last five years. I had a rocky start in life. My father is an alcoholic, not a sob story I promise. And as a result, I spent many years without any real direction. Long story short, I landed myself in therapy and started to turn my life around for me and my two children. I also met an amazing guy who has now been supporting me in my journey for four years. I made the decision four years ago to go back to school. I studied adult classes for my GCSEs and much to my own amaz amazement, managed to secure myself A's and A stars, something which I didn't believe was possible. I also found out that I was dyslexic and that was a huge help to know why I found some things very difficult. I then progressed to A-levels in chemistry, maths, physics, with hopes to go to university. Now for my bike. I actually bought my bike in the summer of 2017. It's not a fancy bike, it's a yellow hybrid. I used it in the first year to commute to my GCSE classes, which is a 10 mile ride each way, and just fell in love with the bike and cycling. Unfortunately, I've not been able to cycle as much over the last two years as my A-level classes were too far away and the workload was a little bit too large to allow me to commit the time to cycling. However, I have literally just got back on the bike. I've now been going out each day, 10 to 20 mile rides, and I'm really enjoying it. Your channel has brought me great inspiration. I would love to be able to work up to ride longer rides and day trips. And I think what I've learned most from you is that cycling fitness and ability builds up slowly over time, so I shall keep at it. Thank you for taking the time to read this, and I look forward to watching your future videos. Kind regards, Ali. What I love about Ali's story is making that big change and that is a scary thing to do i think especially as you get older to then go back and do, do your gcse's is a huge thing and i think that is so ballsy to do that so and i think also as part of it that the cycling facilitated you to get to your classes and stuff and i just i love that i just really love it and i'm just glad that i could i don't know help encourage you to get on the bike in some way um so yeah i, I'm, I hope you get into university and i hope you are enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I reckon that is it for this video. Uh, yeah, probably catch up with you tomorrow for the rest of the Festive 500. I think I've done about 322K of it. So I've still got a couple hundred K to do. Will I do it? I don't know. We shall see. 
But um, yeah, let me know any changes that you have made in your life, whether it's cycling or whether it's anything else. I just think, I do think that when you see other people change, it's a lot easier to do those things for yourself. So yeah, well done, Ali. And I, loved, I love getting these emails. This is the thing, I've just loved getting these emails, reading all these things from you. Absolutely love it. And I can't wait to get out and ride with you, some of you next year. So right, I'm gonna go. I will see you next video. You all right? Okay, let's go. Hi. Is it cold? Once you get going, I'll strike my ring up. But well, it is cold to start with, yeah. Oh. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to look at I'm sweating my ring out here, mate. So, sorry. Oh, oh. GoPro buddies.